Hello everyone and welcome to the Daily Tactics Star Wars Tournament. 16 Star Wars characters from various movies will compete to find out who is the toughest in the galaxy. Each battle will be composed of various rules to make it interesting. Some with infantry only, some with weapon restrictions, or anything else you could possibly imagine. Each match will be as equal in terms of numbers and positioning as possible within game restrictions. But one thing's for sure, the warfare will be epic. So without further ado, here are this week's contestants. In the start of round two of the Star Wars mod tournament, we have the best friends going up against each other, Fives and Echo. Fives and Echo were both a part of the 501st Legion's Domino Squad and had progressed through the ranks of the Clone Army until eventually they were in the prestigious position of being ARC Troopers. Today, ARC Trooper Fives is going to command the 501st Legion's Elite Corps, while ARC Trooper Echo is going to take the 501st Legion's Gunner Corps. Each side will receive tanks to aid in their fight, as well as lighter vehicles. Only one of these clone brothers can advance forward today. But who will it be? Let's find out together. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Star Wars Mod Tournament. Today we have Arc Trooper 5s versus Arc Trooper Echo. It's going to be brother against brother today. Really, really exciting. Over here we have Arc Trooper 5s with the 501st Elite Corps. And then over here, we have Arc Trooper Echo with the 501st Elite Gunners. They're basically the exact same trooper, same stats, same everything. They just have different armor. So don't worry, it's all fair. Um, and then they each have the same number of tanks. They have 10 of these Swamp Speeders here, these little extremely fast vehicles that have tiny little guns on the front. Pretty good against anti-infantry, terrible against tanks and things like that. Uh, then they each have two of these ATTEs. Uh, Arc Trooper Echo's ATTEs have red paint on the front, and Arc Trooper 5's ATTEs are in all gray, which is kind of cool looking. Uh, so yeah, these two will be going at each other head to head. We will see who wins. As always, the bracket will be in the description below if you'd like to check out the standings currently. We are finally in round two, which is pretty cool. So we're going to see pretty much all repeat characters now, uh, which should be pretty fun because um, we get to start getting into the nitty gritty of the tournament itself and seeing the best of the best. All right, without further ado, I'll be right back and we'll get this started. Alrighty then, you bad Larrys. I think we're ready to get this battle underway. Let's go ahead and press start. And the troopers and tanks should begin to move forward here. And that they are, as we can see, the speeders just absolutely gunning it forward like I said they would. Really going very fast. Oh, we got runners. Oh, God. We haven't had runners in these battles in quite a while, but... Um, it looks like in this one there are a few troopers deciding to sprint forward. I think we got all the ones over here. Any over this way? Choosing to sprint. Yeah, look, our Trooper 5's himself trying to sprint forward. Dude, you're supposed to be setting a good example for your troopers, not not a bad one. Alright, we'll just stop any any and all runners just in the sake of fairness here, because, uh, well, not to mention in the sake of it not being a dumb battle because people are sprinting forward. Alright, I think we got them all. It does look like the Swamp Speeders are coming fully forward here and are engaging with each other in the forest, firing at one another. These tanks, like I said earlier, they're not very powerful against um, anything but infantry. So, you know, maybe if one or two of them win this battle against the enemy speeders, then they can do something against the enemy infantry. Um, but even the enemy infantry can take these things out pretty easily. So, uh, really, it's just a minor advantage whoever wins the speeder battle. And it seems like both sides still have some spears left or alive. They're just kind of derping around. So, I imagine the infantry will just sort of play clean up on those. Um, and it does look like the infantry is finally coming forward here. Here's Arc Trooper Echo right here, walking on forward. That looks like a dope shot with the um, the ATTE in the background. I'm taking some screenshots because that looks dope. Um, and his uh, his ATTEs are firing away through the look at look at the forest with the the smoke coming up out the billowing up the top of the the leaves there. That's pretty cool. This map does kind of remind me of a uh, like an African landscape, I guess. I don't know. Is that just me? Ooh, one of Echo's uh, tanks going down very early there. I think it crushed a bunch of troopers under it. That's a that's a shame right there. The other one's still barreling forward though. One of Fives' tanks going down. This is being a very even battle so far. Um, no one really taking the upper hand. It doesn't seem like it. And the other one for Fives over here going down, perhaps crushing a few troopers underneath it. 
Um, the last tank remaining on the field currently is owned by Echo, and it is still firing away, but it is on fire, and its sirens are going off, so I imagine it's not going to be super helpful for the remainder of this battle. Um, I imagine it will go down very, very soon. Um, and we're seeing Arc Trooper 5's troopers firing at it. They're getting a few hits here and there. They've killed the top gunner of it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised, actually, that this thing is still alive and kicking, especially considering how much damage it's taken. Um, oh, we've actually got a Swamp Speeder over here still alive and pouring some fire into the enemy forces that are across this forest here. Uh, it seems like Arc Trooper Echo's troops are sort of like right here, and then Arc Trooper 5's troopers are concentrated right over here. So they're they're pretty split up still, but they're um, they're giving it. They're all both sides fighting for dominance here. Let's try and look for the leaders right now because I'd be sort of interested to see uh, where each of the respective leaders are in the battle. They very well could have been knocked out, and as we know, um, it's just whoever has any sort of troopers left alive at the very end of the battle. It does not matter if their leaders are alive or not. Um, if a leader goes down, then we just basically say they're unconscious, you know? Uh, just so that they can progress in the tournament later on. I'm not seeing Arc Trooper 5s over here. Um, but there is a lot of forest and brambles and things like that, so I, I could just be missing him. And all the troopers look a little bit the same. You know, they're all blue and white. It's a little bit confusing there. There, right there, is Arc Trooper Echo, though, there on the very front lines of the battle, supporting his men, actually, underneath this uh, ATTE up here, which is still alive. It only has one crew member, though, and it doesn't seem to really be firing, so I'd say this is a dud of a vehicle at the moment. It's not doing anything. It's just sort of sitting there, and it probably won't affect the remainder of the battle. Um, it might get taken out at some point. I'm not really sure. We'll just have to sort of do a little bit of wait-and-see pudding on that one. Uh, I'm not really seeing any active Swamp Spears. There was this one over here. Actually, I hear one. Is this? Yeah, there is actually still a active Swamp Speeder. Seems like maybe just this one on the far left over here, and it's so out of the way of uh, Fives' men that they don't seem to really be challenging it too much. They're deciding to go for infantry instead, and if it's not doing that much damage, I, I wouldn't recommend they do anything about it you know if, if there's a bigger threat at the moment to these troopers then they should deal with that instead that's that's sort of my little sage advice here and it does seem like fives troopers are holding their own they've got very good cover here in the forest they um they certainly are still great in numbers so they can definitely make it out of this okay i am looking for the body of fives to see if he's anywhere around here i'm still not seeing him though so he could still be alive i'd like it if he was i like it when the the clone commanders make it through a lot there seems to be a very large concentration of 501st elite troopers over on this side over here concentrating mainly on the rocks and things like that and i imagine this is where there's a lack thereof of arc trooper echoes troopers and uh yeah i would say arc trooper echoes troopers are pretty widely dispersed over here not nearly oh um, <laughs> my Siri apparently went off and it's been recording my entire conversation and that's what that was. Jeez Louise, okay. Um, yeah, but Arc Trooper Echo's soldiers over here are pretty few and far between. Um, meanwhile, in the middle where Arc Trooper 5's has less soldiers, Arc Trooper Echo, on the other hand, has quite a number concentrated in the middle over here. I'd almost say Arc Trooper Echo has more soldiers left alive currently than Arc Trooper 5's does. It does seem like he is sort of winning this battle at the moment. Though, as we've learned from these battles, the tides turn just so fast, and one person could be leading for the entirety of the battle, and then all of a sudden, like, one grenade that gets 10 kills, or one gunner who's just in a perfect position and gets, you know, 20 kills, you can totally change the tides of war and lead to one side dominating the other. We are seeing a lot of pushing forward, though, from Arc Trooper Echo. Um, even more so over here, actually, now there's a lot of soldiers coming very far forward. So, we could be seeing this as a sign of Arc Trooper Echo taking dominance on the field, or it could just be that they're moving forward. Yeah, Arc Trooper 5 does seem to be playing more defensively than Echo is. 
And that could honestly work out in their favor. Attacking lessens your cover. Um, it lessens your ability to get fire out. So, um, you know, if, if they don't have the numbers to push like that, then they could go down. It does seem like Fives is still getting a solid amount of fire out at them. Though he does seem to be waning in terms of his troopers. So this could very well be Arc Trooper Echo's battle to win. Not totally sure yet, though. We'll see. Ooh, this rocket trooper over here firing into a crowd of infantry. Uh, like I said, one one soldier can do a lot of damage, and, and a rocket trooper firing into infantry is one of those soldiers. They can seriously devastate the enemy. One rocket can easily get a huge number of kills, so we'll see if he does manage to do so. I am seeing rockets sort of flying by overhead or glimpsing against rocks, not really doing too much damage, but uh, one really nice hit one could, could be big. Oh, he might be actually shooting at the ATT over here, which is still just sort of a dud. Um, it's not really doing anything. It's really, it's not that big of a worry, I feel, for Arc Trooper Fives' men. Oh, right there, huge, huge rocket hit. Disintegrated an entire soldier. Holy guacamole. My goodness. Okay, so, Fives' men being pushed back. There seems to be actually little pockets behind these ATTEs that never really got engaged in the battle, so they'll... It'll sort of be a last stand if it comes to that. The uh, the troopers who were once heavy in in position over here are starting to falter, and they're having less and less troopers. I've still yet to see Arc Trooper Fives during this battle. Maybe he's like on the outskirts somewhere. I just don't know where he is, honestly. So maybe he did die early on, and I'm just sort of missing it. This machine gunner over here firing underneath the destroyed cannon of the ATTE, trying to help out his soldiers. There's two rocket troopers actually way up here. Rocket troopers tend to stay in the back of the battles, so um, they tend to live the absolute longest, which can be a good thing because they are sort of those Hail Mary troopers. Um, but these guys are using their pistols. Both of them are dead now. Here comes Echo's troopers really swooping on in here. Here's Echo himself actually uh, leading the charge. Does he have any kills? No, he doesn't have any kills, but it can be tough to get kills when you're in just such a large pack of troopers. These do seem to be the last remaining, um, or some of the last remaining, members of Fives' elite 501st Corps over here. They are being uh, swarmed on both sides. It's only a matter of time before they're hit pretty hard by some enemies here. Let's see, this guy over here. Oh, no, they're firing. It looks like a few are trying to navigate around the wreckage. Some of them shooting underneath the ATTE. Some of them coming around. They're, they're, they're getting pretty hard trapped in here. Most of them starting to go down a little bit. This is, uh, yeah, sort of last-ditch stand here. And they're dead. Is that it? Yeah. Our Trooper Echo ended up getting a solid victory here. Actually, a very solid one. We can go ahead and... Uh, all right, let's see. Yellow are dead Fives troopers. Red are dead Echo troopers. As you can see, Echo lost a sizable amount of troopers way back here. Um, and of course, tanks. He's still got the one tank left alive, which is on fire. Its sirens are going off, and it's got one crew member. Um, so that's not a lot. Also, it's stepping on bodies, so he's making him disappear, which is kind of a shame. But yeah, so red are Echo's troopers here. He lost a sizable portion. But Fives, obviously, over here lost far, far more. And uh, once Echo's soldiers sort of hit this region right here that I'm highlighting, then they just swept on through and took minimal losses from there on. One trooper died over here. That's kind of funny in that last little stand. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Arc Trooper Echo took the W here, and he is going to progress on into the next portion of that, the battle, or the tournament. Right now they're just shooting dead bodies. They're not they're not shooting any live soldiers. You can see on the mini map there's no one left alive for fives. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.